Today, we utilize our bees to give ourselves infinite power. That is right, dudes and dudettes. We are going to be getting power from our bees today. Uh, we've been generating quite a bit of honey and honeycombs. This actually isn't the haul between this and last episode. This is... That's just from when I emptied it about 30 minutes ago. This is the haul. Yeah, we have over a stack of the honey blocks here, uh, which you combined with a bucket that we are so going to do. Actually, let's get two. Um, so what we're going to be doing here is like I said, whoa, that was odd. Um, we're going to be combining these honey bucket and we're going to get a honey generator. Yeah, so we just need iron and we got plenty of that. We're going to need a couple pieces of cobblestone. It's crazy I'm running low on cobblestone. <laughs> Okay, so here we go, two honey generators. All right, and so what we do is we take this, if we grab some honey, and we just simply toss them in, it's gonna put the honey in here and it's gonna start generating some power. Um, it's generating a pretty decent amount. I don't know the exact usage of that. We do uses, bottler, no, it doesn't tell us. But as you can see, it's 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 generating a, a decent amount. So what I would like to do here is we're going to try to separate the um, the bottles from the honeycombs, and we're going to try to pump them over into this guy. Now, what I want to go ahead and do is we're going to change up this a little bit. I'm going to make kind of a little power plant right here. It's going to be a really small building. Um, so we're just going to line these up and they're going to come through the bottom and the only way i can really think about uh dang it's not going to be where i wanted it the only r way i can really think about doing it is simply like this um my intent wait do we even need a filter i would like a filter so that we can filter just honey bottles being pumped into here. And we can actually set this to be round robin. Um, yeah, round robin, so that it just, it, it sends it to whichever one here. Cool, so we're going to be, I wonder if you can pull power out the top, I just thought about that. Um, that's our goal is we're going to be pulling power out of the top and the reason we're generating power is so we can get into some tools. So let's grab, let's make some pipe, um, some electric pipe. It's electric. Okay. That should be good. Get a little power here. Do we have like a cell that we can hold all of this power in? All right. Let's make one of these power cells here super fast so we're gonna need some of these some of these some of these and some of these okay so first we need to make the machine frame which we need two of these come on good all right so we've got that we've got the redstone we just need to make four of these what are we missing two redstone all right and with that we need one more redstone or four more sorry and we have the power cell cool so let's see here how much this can hold if it can we'll put that here and we'll go bink bink hmm from the side Does it have to be here? Oh, ah, so it says uh, right click with a wrench. So we need an RF tools wrench. <laughs> I did hashtag. Uh, okay, so assuming it's talking about this one. 
which is good because that's not expensive at all. And we can make one of them. Oh, that's die. There we go. Okay. So let's try this again. Whoops. Ah, there we go. Look at that. It's getting less power. So we are generating a fair bit. And the next thing I want to go ahead and do is we're going to work on a system. We'll go down. We'll go down here. This system. Oh, we don't need that one. We'll recycle. And we don't have enough. We're missing like three. Dang it. Again. Okay, so as soon as... Let's see, so these... Yep, these have the bottles. As soon as we click this, we should see the bottles are, yep, being taken out. And they should be going into here. Perfect. All right, so... This now means that we have infinite power. So once, it's not a lot of power. It doesn't generate very quickly, but it will generate nevertheless. Uh, so as soon as a honey is done, one of these honey bottles, it will get taken out of the system. It'll get pushed into here, right? And then it, once it's in here, it will get taken out by this cable back here and pushed into these guys which will then generate power and then once it's done it'll take the bottle out and put it back into this chest ready to restore all of the bottles over here so as you can see one of them just triggered i don't know if you could have you if you saw that but we should see one of these is working yep right here so leftover honey powers in here and we have 433,000 fe which is awesome to have that so quickly but yeah again this will generate non-stop which is fantastic okay so we have this set up over here um i've let this run for a while uh, and i want to show you guys something cool um yeah so i added in so a stack upgrade in here made this a gold chest and then i also went and made a compacting upgrade so that we're compacting the honeycomb into here and then we're also compacting the honey bottles so this is really going to help us be way more efficient with our storage when it comes to this because this is how we're making our power and this makes us a pretty good amount of power which leads us into the next item for today we're going to get into the basics of applied energistics because that is the only storage mod available right now so it's great all right so all we got to do is puncture a hole into here now this is this used to be my favorite block in the entire game and where where is the middle piece ah there was no applied energistics thing in the middle or did someone take it <gasps> They might have. Well, I know where another one is. So I guess we'll have to go there. That's a bummer. More walking. But hey, we got infinite food. Yay. Okay, so this is the second one here. Um, this one's significantly bigger. So hopefully... Yep, no one's been here. Sweet. Okay. So we got the budding crystals. Um... There we go. Got some light. Good. So, uh, the cool thing is we have a bunch of sky stone. So, let us... What is that on the map? Oh, it's a parrot. Interesting. Okay. Ah! <laughs> that just knocked us off. Okay. Um, so, yeah. All we gotta do is mine this one here that gives us all of... The inscribers, very cool. And what I'm gonna do, chunk manager, because I believe, yes, this is still within the chunk, very good. So I'm gonna chunk load this and we'll set up like a waystone here so I can teleport back and mine these guys up. But at the current state, 
yeah, we need them. We need them to grow. So I'm going to mine some more of these because I like Skystone and we're going to need it later on for applied energistics too. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and finish up mining all this and then we'll be back at the base. So this has been my life just over here. Charged are the Surtis Quartz crystals. Just been mining with my, my Fortune 3 pick. Um, yeah, this takes, a, this takes a while. So I think... I think that I might need to go into mystical agriculture just for the Certus Quartz seeds. So we'll see. Wait, what did Jess or Bendy say? Um, okay, so um, let's see. Certus Quartz seeds, what tier do we need? We need tier three. Um, I do have quite a bit of essence down at the skeleton farm. Um, got some here. That's all I've got. Um, I don't know if that's enough, but we could definitely put them into a botany pot. Oh, we got a little bit more. That's good. Okay, so we need to make, do I have any prosperity shards? Is that, that we need that big time. I might have to go to the nether real quick. This is turning into a bigger ordeal than I thought. Okay, so caving expedition over. We got uh, over two stacks of the prosperity shards. I had to go way over here. Um, yeah, this is, I found a cave. I think this is the cave I went into over here and then started doing a bunch of mining down here. This is all new generated chunks because our base was generated before um, mystical agriculture was added so we had to go out kind of far i tried the nether it didn't work out for us that's a bummer but now we should be able to actually got a single diamond while i was mining which is funny um we should be able to make the crystal for the um let's see where are you yes infusion crystal boom there we go so let's go ahead and see 63 okay so we can go ahead and make it cool all right so we can make the prosperity seeds we can actually make uh three of them um which is very nice so we need the certus quartz seeds by this guy here so in order to get these we got to make some of this stuff and we should have all of the red dye we could ever need somewhere i think it's in our bees it is so we'll just take a couple of those call them call them good how are we looking looking good very nice okay so we have these for the wool um i've got sheepums sheepums let's get some shears let's shear the sheepums make you red make you red thank you spank you all right, so we got three of the eight. Um, you get died. Nice. We're just going to eat. Nice. We got seven. We need a couple more. I know you can do it. Please. Please give me more wool. Should have been breeding these guys up. Anyway. We can make a few of them. Um... So let's see. Yeah, each of the this one requires one. So we need our stone, which we do have some smelted up. So we just need um, gold. Hey, you get back my gold watch. Cool. So there's this guy. Oh, another sheepums just ate him. Very good. Ooh, that one was three. Nice. That's all we need. Good. Okay. So now we need to make a total of eight of these. What are we missing? Gold. Son of a nutcracker. Oh, there's all the gold. There's in another chest. Okay. So let us make lettuce. Lettuce. Cool. So we'll break this guy. Place this down. Vive. Nope, that's not. I thought that was the redstone block. We'll go, oops, oops, we'll go like so, and then we will place these all around, boom, now we can make our stuff, but we need to make some prosperity seeds real quick, 
So let us make that. Prosperity seed, very good. All right, shebang. One, two, three, four. I know you can put these in any order, but it just looks better. Wait, no, this isn't what we need. Sorry, we need, we need these. That's silly. I know they can go in any order, okay? I just like it to look like that. Is that is that too much to ask for? Okay, so we got ourselves some Certus Quartz seeds. Very good. We're going to make another botany pot here real quick. Botany, botany. Okay. Need five. One of these. Let's make up a hopper. Hopper, dropper, dropper, hopper, mopper, dropper. Okay. Um... Then we need clay. All right, so a hopper botany pot, here we go. Uh, and I do believe we need some farmland here, the Teridium farmland, which is what we're gonna be making. Um, so we need dirt. Boom, and we need a hoe. Mm, yeah, we'll make an iron one. Okay. There we are. Okay, okay. So, let us. We can put the anvil here. No one's gonna know. Actually, everyone will know if there's an anvil there. Cool. So, we put this here and this here. Shebang. There we go. We got ourselves automated Certus Quartz. I'm gonna make a couple more of these because I feel like that's just a good idea. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and make another three of these guys we need three more seeds there we go prosperity seeds good excuse me i'm trying to craft seeds here i don't care about my car's extended warranty okay leave me alone all righty we are making more of these i'm just gonna have three total and we'll be good we'll be sitting pretty yeah buddy oh that's not it all right, so I'm gonna make those other botany pots. This is exactly why we're getting into applied energistics. So I'm sick and tired of looking through all of my chests for everything and can never find them. We'll throw these here, we'll throw these here, have a fun time, and it's raining. Fantastic, I'll be back. All right, so we got four botany pots now that are working um so we just really have to go afk for a bit and let them do their job um thankfully i'm just gonna load that one i believe yeah they're definitely in the loaded chunks here so we're good oh that's a cat hello good morning all right i'll go afk here and pet the cats all right so we got a creeper walking around outside i can hear him there he is all right here we go Let's just lure him away from anything important. Yes, come this way, you fool. Yes, that's right. I got you. You will never be able to win. You will lose. There's another one. Oh my gosh. Maybe a mega torch is in line if we have him in the pack yet. Why is he kind of glitching out? He seems to feel better. But not for long. That was a glitchy creeper. We're going to steer clear of him. Anywho, so as you can see, ooh, we actually got seeds. I didn't realize that they would give us seeds. Very cool. That one is stingy. That one gave us three seeds. Um, v, don't need red wool for now. I filled it with the wrong thing. All right, so now we got all of this Certus Quartz, um, which is good. So we go here to uses and shaboom. That's that's quite a bit of resources. That's actually more than what we needed. Fantastic. Um, yeah, we're really we're really craving some storage space. I'm just trying to throw everything so I can work. Okay, so we're gonna take two stacks of these, two of these, and two of these. We need to make the charger, which is just copper and iron. One, two. All right, and then what is this? A frame. We'll look into that later. Sorry, I got sidetracked. Um, here's a charger. So we're gonna take some of this cable. 
that is in here. And we're going to bring it over to this guy. Okay. And does this get power? F-E-A-E. -E. Okay, looks like we're going to need an energy acceptor. That's kind of a bummer, because that requires materials. Okay, so if you take the... It's here at the top. Okay, so that actually is enough. So we don't have to sweat too many buckets. Let's get some glass. Um, energy acceptor. I'm just going to put it over here so I can see it. Quartz glass. There we go. And all we need is some copper. Okay. Energy acceptor. That is uh, pretty inconvenient that it doesn't just configure to it. Um, I'm wondering. We just put it here. Okay, seems like maybe we need to have a cable in between. Oh, wait a second. I forgot. You need to configure the sides on this thing. Jeez, it's the blue wrench. Yes. Here, see? I don't... Tree creepers be creeping. I wonder if we actually need the energy acceptor or if I just need to configure this. Yes, there we go. All right. So we do this. Ah, yes. So charge service quartz. We need a bunch of that. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up a mini automated system to do this um, using pipes and chests. We don't need a lot of chests, but I don't want to craft anymore because we have two. All right. Now we need just normal pipe. Need two of them. Good. So something that I discovered is we don't need a pipe filter on this guy. We don't need it. Because we're good. So what we're going to do is place this here and this here. Oh boy. Okay. Yep. That, that was a problem. Okay. We're good. So those can't connect. And then we're going to place these here. Like so. We're good. We're good. Okay. And then this is going to be like this. However, we're going to remove that. Oh, no. This actually needs to go onto this side here. And the charge service quartz is the only thing that can be taken out. So when we do this, as soon as it turns to the charge service quartz, it gets put into this chest. So we've just automated charge service quartz. Pretty easy. Okay, so while this is processing up here, I'm going to be looking in rivers for jellyfish. And I know that sounds kind of silly, but we desperately need them in order to craft up an inscriber because we can take a jellyfish and smelt it into a slime ball. So I'm going to look for a couple of those and I'll be back if I find one. Wow, Liter literally less than a few seconds after I stopped recording, we've got one. So there's our there's our first jellyfish. Now we need to get a few more. So I'm probably going to go for six total um, so I can have three inscribers. Or maybe we'll go for four so we can have a dedicated maybe five. Yeah, let's go for five. So I need ten jellyfishes. I'll be back. So there's something floating around in the water here. Oh my, okay. I'm drowning, I thought it was hitting me. Okay. It's still down there, I don't know what that was. It's right here. An ocean creeper, interesting. Wow, look at all these jellyfish. I've been looking for these guys for a while. I got the one and then they just disappeared. I found one more and it was like no go. This is great. We got five. We're halfway there. Okay, there's the other jellies. I can feel it in my jellies. There's three over here. Nice. Let's 
so dark. There's a bunch. Oh, there's one here, too. Oh, man, look at all those. Ouch. Nice. Okay, cool. So we got all the jellyfish we need, and hopefully all of the items, the charged Certus Quartz, are complete. We'll let that guy live to tell the others. Just like the 1%... Are the 0.1% or 0.01% of germs that hand sanitizer doesn't get tells all of the the other germs what happened. <laughs> Sends a message. Anywho, let's go ahead and get these guys smelted up. Don't need you. All right, so let's see. The, oh. Thank you. You, sir, it's terrifying. They're dead. Cool, so these have finished up. Amazing. So the next thing we're gonna do is a little funny. We, oh, I've used, I used some of the redstone I wasn't supposed to. Um, hey, there we go. All right, so we're gonna go over here. And all of the amazing items we have, the redstone, the quartz, the Certus quartz, we are going to say, junk, get it out of our inventory. Nah, I'm just kidding. It pops up into the, the Flux crystals. We should get four stacks of these guys. Sure did. Very cool. All right. This is the integral part of our thing, of our mission. So, yep, we got the 10 here. We can make 10, 10 of those pistons, the inscribers. Got a little bit of cobble on me, which is good. Need a little bit of wood, a little bit of iron, and some redstone. Actually, I need a total of 10. Nine. Ah, shoot, right of wood. There we go. Okay, so we got the 10 pistons. Very good. Now we need copper. Gotta go. Oh. Alright. And then just need the iron. And now, whoops, we can make, oh, we need to make the sticky pistons. Now we can make the inscribers. Cool. All right. So I'm going to take these and do some of this. Yep. And each of these are filling up with power. How are we looking? Oh, we're, we're doing fine. Kind of cool we're using bees for power. I feel like that's beautiful. All right, so we discovered all of the inscribers. So the cool thing is, is the reason we made five is so we don't have to share any of them with a different one. Engineering, actually, I want this to be logic, calculation, engineering, and this is where we combine them all together. So super simple. Um, this is only to be silicone. And that's all it will worry about. So let's see here. What do we need for the silicone? Certus quartz dust. That's what we need. All right. Well, we can grab some stuff to make the dust. Cool thing is, is that is divisible by three. Nice. So I got some Surtis Quartz dust. And now all we got to do is just melt them up. Cool. That'll give us silicone. Then we can use the press here. And create the press. Printed silicone. That's our goal. All right. So for Applied Energistics 2, we're going to need a couple of things. One, we're going to need a controller. This is essentially the brain of the system. We're going to need some ME drives. This holds all of the storage. 
we're gonna need some cables this connects everything together and we're gonna need some panels where are the panels i missed them we're gonna get a crafting terminal we're only gonna have one for now so these are the the four things we need these are the four things you need in order to create your own me system so we're gonna take one of these stacks we're gonna throw it in there and these are gonna smelt up we need a total of four we're gonna be working on this guy first so logic so we need a printed silicone and an engineering one um and then i believe yeah so we need a total we actually just need three of these guys if i'm not mistaken so we're only going to use three diamonds which is very good not too many and we'll throw these in here wait did that take all three of them how long has that been a thing? I don't remember that being a thing. I thought you could only do one at a time and it was really annoying. That's why everyone made the upgrades or the extra mod for it. It is confusion. Okay, so I'm gonna start getting the silicone smushing in here, silicone, and then they'll be combined in there. All right, so that's more than enough time for these to finish up. And now we just do that. That's crazy that you can just throw the whole thing in there. Oh, automation can access any slot from any side. Input slots cannot be extracted from. Oh, look at that. Automation can access slots from specific sides. Top and bottom slots can be extracted from. Wow. Wow, that's amazing. I'm very happy about that. Wow. I don't think you guys understand how cool that is because... That means automating this thing has become way easier. Um, okay, I don't know why I did that. But, yep. we're gonna take some of these guys and now we can make the ME controller. Thanks zombie for yelling in our ears the whole time. It's very nice of you. You jerk. I hope you didn't have fun with that. So I'm going to take the ME controller. I'm going to put it here and... Okay, so it won't connect upside power. Um, I'm actually going to move it. We're going to put this bad boy here. We're going to run that booyah me controller online how are we looking man we're doing good we're only using um 6.5 7 fe per tick which is great now it is time for the me drives but i guess that means we have to make some quartz cable show we need more Certus Quartz. The thing is, we kind of get a, our bang for our buck when it comes to... The good thing is we get our bang for our buck when it comes to uh, the Quartz Cable. Oh, we need more glass. All right, so here we go. We got some Quartz connecting fiber. Um, yeah, so that got us 12. Very good. Now we need... Oh, I need to make two more. Whoops. I did not do the math right on that. It's two per, not one per. All right, so we'll have those go. Go getting done. That's connected there. This is connected here. So now we're drawing a little under 10 FE per tick. Now these go in. We're going to make one more of these guys. I'm actually going to move this one more time. I just like it when things are aesthetically pleasing to look at, you know? Is that is that too much to ask for? I just want it to be balanced. Perfect. All right, so now we're working on the ME pattern terminal, and that's going to require some shenanigans. No, I'm just kidding. All right, so the ME, sorry, the ME crafting terminal is going to require a calculation processor, it's going to require a couple of these logic processors, so I think we need at least three pieces of gold. Um, I'm going to do six. And then we're going to snag up the rest of these silicone guys. 
and we can put the silicone in here good logic goes in here and then we'll combine the logic in there there we go okay so we have eight logic processors now um, so we're going to be utilizing these guys so let's let's look here um, so ME terminal and then we're going to need these and these illuminated panels here so we do need glowstone I don't know if I've acquired any glowstone yet so it probably means we're running to the nether real fast actually yeah I got my good pick so I'm in the nether here and I see this spawner over here but if I look at my map there's a second one I want to say like up here and I think it's wither skeletons which would be absolutely insane if that's the case I'm pretty sure it is. Oh, that's not good. What are you doing? Oh my gosh, it's wither skeletons. Oh, dude. Why are you guys here? Go away! Why do you want to be here? But there's another one! Oh, is there something that I don't know about? Anywho, we now have a gold farm and the wither skeleton farm uh, that we could potentially set up in the nether. That's fantastic. Um, we'll be able to really, really utilize that. So I did go ahead and claim the chunk so no one can troll us or accidentally break the spawner other than me. I'm the only one who could do that. So anywho, we got some gold. We need more gold. Okay, time to work on the illuminated panel. So we need some quartz glass. Uh, we should be able to create some here. I'm gonna go like this, because I believe it's gonna use that. Yep, sure did, perfect. So what do we need, just redstone? Okay. There we go. Got some illuminated panels. Man, this is getting crazy how little storage I have left. It's really annoying, honestly. I can't wait to get this all into one spot. Okay. So there we go. We have the illuminated panels, so we no longer need those. We do need these, which is going to require some Fluix crystals being smashed. Smashed up. So I'm going to take these out. Oh. And we're gonna put these in it might have been wait that just allowed me to put redstone in there on its own they must have done a serious revamp in the 1.20 uh, uh, release that's fantastic okay so let's go ahead and make some formation cores it's going to utilize the cirrus quartz and then the annihilation ones utilize normal quartz so now, if we look at this, we can make an ME terminal. Very good. Now, the only thing left for us to create here is the crafting grid, crafting table, and then the calculation processors. So I'll take those. We'll throw these back in. I actually only need one. So as soon as this one's done, we're good. And then we also need to make some drives, which is the final step. And then we can start putting items in. All right, here we go. ME crafting terminal is ours. That's a big win for us today. Awesome. So yeah, we can now access it. Um, full height. Yeah, that's what we like to see, but we can't put anything in it yet because there's no storage. So that's why we made up a few of these logic processors here. Um, we need to make as many of these as we can because those are like the essential part of crafting up the drives. All right, so Applied Energistics 2, these are the 1K ME drives. We can make a total of six of them, which is cool, um, but I would like to at least go to the 4Ks if possible. 
We've got one of those. Uh, we do have more glass, and we have more Certus quartz essence out here. So we can, in fact, create more. Uh, I need the 4K. Okay, yeah, so we can make quite a few. We just need more of the calculation processors and we can go ahead and make some 4Ks. All right, so we should be able to create at least one 4K here. Yep, there we go. And then if we hit uses, we wanna go ahead and put it into an item house, but you could just craft it right up. Booyah. All right, that is, that's digital storage. Holy crap, okay. So yeah, so these can hold up to 4,096 items, but only 63 different types, which is the main concern for most people playing using this, um, is the limitation on different types of items you can put in. Because I mean, just with my inventory being cleared, we're already at 30, so I would like to go ahead and see if we could fill this in. Now, that is really kind of pushing what we have. I don't know if we have enough to do that. But hey, let's find out if we can or not. We may end up just going with one case, which isn't a big deal. Okay, so we're gonna do something kind of crazy here. I mean, we've been doing things crazy all episode, but this one, this is like really crazy. Um, yeah, we're gonna be making some dimensional cells so that I can get the power in here without having to run a super long cable. So we're gonna need two of these. We're gonna need a bunch. It's storming! Oh no, Ben, he just got off! Dang. Ben was waiting for one of one of these, a storm. I believe I don't I don't know if they got it or not. Okay, so we need four diamonds and four of these. There we go. Dimensional cell. Just need a little bit of paper. Which I hope I hope we have enough. Okay. Need a little bit more gold. Man, scraping by resources. Oh, look at that. Saved saved barely. Okay, so we're on We're on one, so these should be linked together cool so we've got oops we've got a bunch of glass smelting up in here okay and we're gonna get those guys schmacking up okay we'll, we'll grab these two okay so these go in here which means we can make some more uh the glass okay so we got 20 of them that's good uses we need these guys what are we missing here oh redstone okay so that's That's seven, and I think we're just gonna go ahead with these 1Ks, and we'll put these in here just for the, the typing. Um, but now, now we take this guy, and we'll break this, and we break this. There we go, in on all sides. So this is pulling out, we can put that in here. So we should be able to get a decent amount of power coming through. We're gonna break these guys, like so. And just temporarily, 
Um, we're gonna set this to out on all sides. These will be here. This will be here. This is on top and this is here. And we put all these back in. And here comes the fun part. So I am gonna start breaking these. We're just gonna do a little bit of this. And uh, yeah, so I'll be back once this is all done and we'll get it moved over here. All right, so all of the items have been moved over. Only two of these are completely full. Um, we do have quite a bit of room here for more items and more storage. So it ended up working uh, really well. So now we can just uh, kind of do this. And um, yeah, I think we're gonna put this guy here. Uh, we're not gonna put him in the ground. We're gonna put the dimensional cell in the ground out on all sides with the ME controller sticking up. This guy here, the ME pattern, boom, boom. And we just throw all these guys in. So a number of items descending. Uh, remember last search, search and tool tips, sync with JI. Yeah, there we go. So been auto crafted items first row, finished, yeah. Awesome. So we've now upgraded to Applied Energistics 2. It is running off of our bees. They are literally giving us power. They're just chilling. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to wrap up the episode for today. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure to hit that like button. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. But this has been Super Turtle, and this is a long episode. I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Peace out. Bye-bye.